US President Joe Biden, who is in Bali for the G20 summit, nearly fell on few stairs but was held by his Indonesian counterpart, Joko Widodo. The two leaders were visiting the Tamin Hutaya Raya mangrove forest in Bali when Biden stumbled on a flight of stairs. However, the US president was saved from falling by Widodo, who managed to grab him in the nick of time. Biden and Widodo held meetings on the margins of the G20 summit to reaffirm their shared commitment to the G20 as the premier forum for international economic cooperation. India has been officially handed over the presidency of the next year's G20 summit at the closing ceremony in Bali. India will officially assume G20 presidency from December 1, 2022. At the closing ceremony of the Bali event, PM Modi was seen taking the charge of the next year's summit to be held in India in a ceremonial event from Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Former US President Donald Trump on Wednesday announced his bid to run for the 2024 US presidential election. The 76-year-old's aide filed the paperwork with the US Federal Election Commission for a 2024 White House bid. Trump is the first major contender from either the Republican or Democrat Party to formally announce their candidacy. The business tycoon and reality TV star's victory in the 2016 elections stunned the world. The Republican leader still enjoys enormous popularity amongst his followers and has been very vocal about his ambition to run for the White House again. Initial findings have suggested that the missile that hit Poland was fired by Ukraine forces at an incoming Russian missile, the US officials said. Two people were killed in the explosion near a village in the eastern Poland, about 6 kilometers from the border with Ukraine, Polish authorities have said. Biden called for an emergency meeting with global leaders gathered at the G20 meeting in Bali in Indonesia after the deadly explosion.